we are 10 videos into the 30 days of apps. And so I wanna mix things up a bit. In this video, I want to show you the application that I've been using to help me to optimize my YouTube videos and save time and grow my following by thousands of subscribers within a matter of clicks. And that app is TubeBuddy. So if you want to try TubeBuddy absolutely free, just go to lashondabrown.com slash TubeBuddy. And without further ado, let's hop in. I learned about TubeBuddy from Roberto Blake. He uses it as his secret weapon to optimize his videos on YouTube. TubeBuddy is a free browser extension and mobile app that integrates directly into YouTube to help you to run your channel with ease. You can definitely use TubeBuddy for free, but I chose to upgrade it so that I had the ability to use things like the tags and keyword research tools and the end screen templates. So I'm gonna take you to the back end of my YouTube channel and show you how some of those features work. All right, so if you choose to do a series like I did for the 30 days of apps, you want to try to find a way that you can create a system so that you can churn out content quickly. If you take a look at my thumbnails, they all look fairly similar. I use a black background and a green background to highlight the text in my images. I remove the background. I'm using all African-American people because I am a brown girl. And I am also using TubeBuddy on the back end to help me to optimize the titles of my videos. So if I go to the top, you can see where TubeBuddy is installed and you can see I have a star license. And so the first thing I wanna do is explore the keywords. Now the keywords are going to help me to rank in the YouTube search. You want to find a title that performs high within the Keyboard Explorer so that you get more traffic on your channel. So for instance, if I just type in Instagram and hit explore, it's going to give an overall score for that word. It's telling me that it is poor, um, it's saying that the search volume is excellent, but the competition is too high. So when I chose to do a video about scheduling Instagram posts, if I type in schedule Instagram posts 2020, which is what I chose to name my video, you can see I go from a 10 to a 95. So you can see that the search volume is in the middle of the road, but the best thing is there isn't that much competition for it. And so when you find something that doesn't have as much competition, but it's still something that people want to know, you are more likely to rank in the YouTube search, thus getting more views because you're ending up on the front page of the search results. So the Keyword Explorer is something that I've definitely been using. So the Keyword Explorer has been really helpful for me to name my videos, but I have also been using TubeBuddy to help me with the tags on my video itself. So if I go to the top right hand corner and I click on my YouTube studio and I go over to videos, I wanna scroll down here to one of my most popular videos where I have the How I Play YouTube in my IG bio, and we're gonna click on Details. So when I scroll down here, you can see these numbers appear next to these tags, but you can also see down here that TubeBuddy is actually recommending tags for me on that particular video. So once I've used the Keyword Explorer to choose the name of my video, then I'm using the recommended tags and the tag tools to help me to put on really good tags for my video itself. And so that is how I ended up here. I used the tag tool and then I maxed out the number of tags that I could have here. So this is how many characters you can have and I try to get as close to 500 as possible. The last tool that I use with NTBuddy is the end screen templates. And that really saves me a lot of time on my upload and it helps optimize my video by recommending other videos within the series or on my channel so that people are likely to binge watch the content. 
I hope that makes sense. So if I scroll up to end screen and I click on the little pencil icon, you can see at the top there is a button that typically wouldn't be here that says apply to buddy end screen template. So we're gonna click on that and you can see here where it says 30 days of apps. What I'm gonna do is apply selected end screens and it says success in order for them to show up, just reload the screen. And so if I go back to end screen, you can see how they automatically threw in the format that I have been using in my other videos. So this is awesome because this is gonna save me a whole lot of time. It puts the subscribe icon exactly where I want it and it promotes the playlist of the series. So if you are doing a ton of videos in a series and you want these buttons to appear in the exact same spot in every video because you're repurposing the end, creating your own template is a great way to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this behind the scenes look at how I'm using TubeBuddy to grow my channel. In the past, without this tool, it took me forever to research keywords, to research my tags, and to create those end screen templates. So in my opinion, it is worth upgrading TubeBuddy to get those abilities. But even utilizing it for free, you can grow your YouTube channel with ease. So again, go ahead and try out TubeBuddy for free by using LashondaBrown.com slash TubeBuddy. Let me know in the comments which TubeBuddy tool you like the most and perhaps I'll do another video about it in the future. Thanks so much for stopping by 30 Days of Apps. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on the notification so you know when I've uploaded the next video in this series. My name is LaShonda, and this is Bootstrap Biz Advice, where I teach you how to grow your biz without breaking the bank. If you need help with your website, click on the link in my description to check out my Squarespace Expert Designer profile. You can also gain access to my resource library for free by clicking on the link in my description. Until next time, ta-ta for now.